Hi everyone, Mike Mu here. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up contact syncing on your iPhone. In case you're coming in from a Google Android device, in case you want to take advantage of iCloud, in case you want to have all your contacts show up under your contacts app on your iPhone or iPad, this is the way you do it, okay? We're gonna do a couple of things first. Let's make sure that you have an iCloud account. I have a link down below and also show you on the screen over here. Everything starts with the settings. Okay, so you're gonna go onto your iPhone here. This is a representation of an iPhone over here on the right side part of the screen. You're gonna to go to settings. It's gonna look like a bunch of uh, icons that a bunch of gears sorry it's going to look like a bunch of gears if you can't find it you could use the search function on the iphone type in setting and it'll pop up right there first thing you want to do is make sure you are logged into icloud if you are it should show up right here all right this is where you also go to set up any additional services you want with the apple icloud service they give you stuff for free right if you're using additional data, then you will probably want to update and add more information on, add more data plan on here. But we're going to go click on iCloud. And then down here is where you're going to choose what you have saved on iCloud. Okay, save to iCloud. Click on see all. And this is where you choose, right? You might want to save your stuff on contacts. Turn off, turn on and off anything that you want or don't want saved to the iCloud, right? And as you can see in this case, it's gonna be contacts is on. So we have that, right? So we make sure you got that enabled. Okay, next thing you're gonna do is go to, go back to settings, and you can go back to the settings the same way you had before, right? And then you wanna go down into contacts, all right? You have to go down to, oh, sorry, you gotta go get out of the Apple account. You go down to apps, and you can search for, the app in case you don't want to go search for it but you can go down to con c for contacts oh no here we go let's we got to keep scrolling down you can just type it in up at the top in a search bar too all right so you can keep scrolling down all the way till you get to contacts this part's very important contacts accounts right note how many you have on there if you are complete new to the iPhone, you might only have one, which means it's syncing directly with your iCloud. But if you're coming from Google, or you have all your contacts set up in Google, you're gonna wanna see that here, all right? So as you can see, I have several accounts over here. Various Gmail accounts have been added on here. And all you gotta do is click on add account. Now pay attention to this part. So you got to add the iCloud account if it's not already in there. Okay, this way it syncs across all your Apple devices if they're all logged into iCloud at the same time. That means your Mac, primarily. Your iPad, your iPhones, etc. It all sync across. If you have a work account, most likely you're doing Microsoft Exchange because most people here run on PC. Google account, Yahoo, AOL, Outlook, and other. Now, if you're wondering why some of your accounts are not showing up on your contacts, it's probably because you have to go in there and enable contact synchronization on each of these. You set up the Google, you just click on a Google, you log into Google, you log into the Google account that you want to sync, and it'll show up. All right now, if you can see, I have my Google account here. This is one of them. And you'll want to enable the ones that you want synchronized to the Apple apps on your phone. So for instance, if you prefer to use the Gmail app rather than the Apple Mail app, you can turn this off and now no longer synchronize with your Mail app on your iPhone. All right, this should be self-explanatory, but sometimes people don't understand that these are the built-in apps on the iPhone. So if you prefer to use the Gmail app, you don't need to turn this on, otherwise you're just wasting space, all right, because you're already checking your mail off of the Gmail app on the iPhone. But if you prefer to use the mail app, again, you turn this on, synchronization as well. But the one we're focused on here is the contacts. Make sure it is on for the account that you want to synchronize. So if you're coming in from Android, 
and you want to synchronize it all because it's all on Google anyway, this is the one that you want to make sure you turn on. Okay. There. That should do the trick. Now, when it synchronizes and when you add and remove contacts from your contacts application on your phone, it will update there. Now, if you are missing, if you're thinking you want to merge all the different accounts or access them all on your phone, you're going to have to turn it on for each different one. Right? So for my business stuff, as you can see, I also have it turned on here as well. Now, when you go back into contacts, you open up the contacts application. Oh, sorry, this is, I'm still in settings here. But now if you go back to the main contacts on your phone, you will see a list. Okay, it could be all contacts, which means it's all across all your accounts. And this is why some of you may or may not be seeing all your contacts, may, meaning maybe you have a whole bunch from one Google account, then you save it to a different Google account, and then you have your work related contacts on there. That's all here. So if you want to see all of them, like you can find a certain contact, it'll put it all in here together. But if you only want to see stuff from only the Google accounts or only from the Gmail, or you want to see the only the stuff from the iCloud accounts, you want to see from a certain account then you have to click in and choose which ones it is that you're interested in looking at. Okay. Now to get that, get access to the specific list that you want. It's just a matter of just going back into the list and choosing the ones, the one that you want. So in general, if you're looking for a contact and you can't find them, you want to make sure you go back up here to the lists and then choose all contacts. And that'll pull in all that stuff that you had chose to sync. Hopefully that makes sense in terms of how these contacts work together. Now, if you want them all in one place and you want to store it all in one place, that's a completely separate video. What you would then need to do, I'll just talk about it real briefly, is you'll individually go to each of your different accounts. So for instance, if it's on Google and you don't want to use Google anymore, you don't want to use syncing and you just want to go all full on in on Apple, you go into your Google contacts and you choose how to export, export all the contacts that you want as a VCF file or some other file. And then you go and choose import into the iCloud or basically onto your contacts application on your Mac, or you can use a third party application to synchronize them over. And then you can then delete them from your, your old address book. And then you go back and turn off the synchronization by going back into the settings, contacts, and turning that part off. That's pretty much what you gotta do. Oh, went to the wrong screen over there. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you think you'd need a video how-to on how to do that in case you're tired of managing multiple contacts or if you no longer work somewhere and you, you don't need those contacts or you just wanna export certain contacts from work, that you want to keep as personal. Basically, you just go into those settings under contacts again. Under settings, contacts accounts, and let's say this one, let's pretend this is my the work account I no longer want to synchronize. You would then go in there and then remove the synchronization on there. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully that was fairly clear. I'll have links for these two from both Apple Guide and also Google available down in the description below. So you can go in there if you need to dig a little bit deeper in there. But that's the gist of how you get them synchronized onto your iPhone. All right, that's it for this video. Please give us a like, subscribe for more. I'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching.